And now it's my distinct pleasure to present one of last year's Lifetime Achievement Award winners, the inspiring Laurie Lowe of Give Realty, who will present this year's award. Please join me in welcoming Laurie to the podium. I have to say I'm absolutely overjoyed to be standing here. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be here this year, so I am, <laughs> and it's really great. I do want to congratulate all the people that won awards and the businesses. You are the reason why 110 people move to Austin every day and why Austin is such a great city to live in. Um, but now on to the Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm proud to announce that the 2016 Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Regina Rogoff, Chief Executive Officer at People Community Clinic. As I glanced over her history that they provided me to share with you all, I realized that Regina had had to have started when she was in the womb. She has been involved in everything for many, many years. Regina has been CEO of the People's Community Clinic for the past 13 plus years, taking, organization, taking the organization from a high quality safety health clinic in financial stress to the shining example of effectively delivered health care that it is today. Under her leadership, the People's Community Clinic was awarded the Ethics and Business Nonprofit Award in 2005. Regina began her career as a lawyer with Volunteer in Service to America, or VISTA. She served for 10 years as a legal aid attorney with Legal Aid of Central Texas, a nonprofit law office dedicated to getting low income Texans the help they need for critical issues like divorce, child custody, consumer fraud, and housing matters. Regina eventually rose to become the executive director of that office and served in that role for 20 years before joining People's Community Clinic as CEO. Throughout her career, Regina has served in numerous leadership roles as a passionate steward of social justice initiatives, such as the Austin Area Humane Services Association, now known as One Voice Central Texas, and the Indigent Care Collaboration, and introduced the nationally recognized anti-racism program, Facing History and Ourselves, to the Austin area. All along, she has remained committed to helping the community advance through education, volunteering and serving on the Board of Educational groups including Austin ISD and the Capital Idea Adult Education Program. Her impact and devotion in this arena have been so notable that the Austin Bar Association created the Regina Rogoff Award in her honor to be given annually to an attorney in Travis County who demonstrates outstanding service in the public or nonprofit sector. Regina has also been recognized by the Austin Business Journal as a profile in power in 2007 and a healthcare hero in 2005. Because of her outstanding devotion to our community and success to achieving things the right way, we are honored to present the 14th Annual Lifetime Achievement Award to Regina Rogoff. Thank you. Boy, that's hard to follow. I don't think I've ever had a standing ovation. Thank you. Um, I really want to thank and congratulate, um, congratulate first all the other past and present winners and nominees in all the categories. When PCC won the nonprofit award in 2005, uh, we were part of that beauty contest sitting there waiting to know whether we were going to win it. And I have to say, the competition was stiff that year, and I think it gets stiffer every year. I have to thank Anita and Earl Maxwell for creating this award. 
Um, and of course, I have to thank Earl for his role at the St. David's Foundation, which without the St. David's Foundation, the People's Community Clinic would not be successful. And so I and the clinic owe so much to the foundation. And um, it is a great opportunity and honor to be able to, to thank him personally. I think recognizing good. Um, I thank my friend Don Christian. Uh, for a number of years, I got to be one of those uh, judges in this competition, and I, I will say that it is a, 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 an informative and inspiring experience. I want to thank my, my other friend, Carlos Rivera. I don't know where everybody went to. The lights are very bright. Um, so thank you, Carlos, uh, for all the good work that the Samaritan Center does. I need to thank my PCC team, and they're over there somewhere, um, because nobody achieves really anything in life without the support of those who they work with. And um, if you think it's not that way, then you're sorely mis mis misled, um, because we all are successful when we work as a team. And I am fortunate to have one of the best possible teams imaginable, all of whom are completely committed to the vision and mission of People's Community Clinic to provide, well, actually to improve the health of our community by providing high quality, affordable health care with dignity and respect. And I think it's that piece of it, more than anything else, that distinguishes us as an organization and distinguishes us in terms of this particular award. Um, over the years, I've been privileged to talk at various events to people, and I've kind of developed this idea that there are three R's of leadership, and that's not just because my name is Regina Rogoff, but you know. <laughs> Uh, and, and so it's not just Regina Rogoff and another R. I mean, I really have three R's of leadership. Um, the first is relationships. Um, I think you can look around this room. The fact that 600 people turn out for an event shows that this organization is connected, um, that people care about what's happening, um, that there is a relationship amongst all of us in this room by virtue of the fact that we care about ethics and business. The other, um, in terms of individual leadership, Leadership really is risk, um, and that may seem like an odd one. I'm not risk averse, but I'm not really a risk taker either. Um, I think that I think of risk as that part of the work that we do where we push ourselves beyond our comfort levels to take on something that is challenging, is new. Um, when I moved from running a legal aid office, a nonprofit legal office, to running a nonprofit health clinic. I don't think I had any idea how different those two businesses are. And just because they're both nonprofits doesn't mean that they're one and the same. Uh, but it was a great risk on my part and a risk on the part of the board, but a great opportunity and a, and a great challenge. And I'm so thrilled that the clinic has been as successful as it's been over the last few years. But the final R is the one that I really want to mention, and that is reputation. And reputation is really is the most important one. And I can't remember which of the speakers, which, which of the nominees or, or winners mentioned it in the video, but really it is all about our reputation. And for me, winning this award, the clinic winning the award in 2005, when Sandy Doshin mentioned that the afterglow lasts, yes, we still take pride in the fact that we won that now more than a decade ago. Um, I will, I guarantee, take pride in this award for many, many years to come. And it is the reputation that comes with it that, that I am so deeply moved by and touched and really inspired to continue doing more of the same and better. And um, with Earl's support, I'm sure we all will. So thank you so, so very much. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here.